Can you breathe? No, but... Okay. Could the emergency oxygen system have somehow failed? For crash investigators, the oxygen masks should have given the crew enough air to breathe until they could land the plane. Benzin scours the Learjet's maintenance records. Looks like everything was working fine. He discovers that on several previous flights, the Learjet's crew used the masks without any problems. We did determine that the oxygen was on board and the crew could have used it. So now the question became, why didn't they use supplemental oxygen? Time to take a new approach. Set us to climb, please. Investigators need to learn more about what happened on board the Learjet after the crew's last radio call. They hope a simulation of the flight will help. There goes the cabin altitude warning. Start the clock. You've got maybe 15 seconds to do something once you become in a environment that's almost eliminated with oxygen. Emergency checklist. Got it. I think all of us sort of had in our heads that you're going to put your oxygen mask on as the first and immediate action item. The simulated loss of cabin pressure leads Benzin to an astounding discovery. The first item on the emergency checklist is not put on oxygen masks. At 10,000 plus or minus 500 feet cabin altitude, control pressure to the outflow valve is trapped. This deactivates the automatic mode and stops cabin altitude from rising higher if the failure is in the automatic control system. I can't believe we still haven't put our oxygen masks on. We were surprised because it implied pretty strongly that you need to troubleshoot a pressurization problem and if you can't fix it, then you don your oxygen masks. OK, shut it down. I think I know what happened. Investigators now have a theory about what went wrong on board the Learjet. Everything is fine till about 24,000 feet. Then something causes the plane to lose pressure. But before they can solve the problem, the crew loses consciousness. The Lear checklist, in a sense, a very real sense, could lead a crew astray. Without those masks on, they wouldn't stand a chance. The FAA is quick to respond. Put on oxygen masks is now the first item on the checklist, not just for Learjets, but for every similar plane in the sky. <laughs> 